Hey guys, another hour or two up in the car today. Um, we just come back up to uh, put in the um, windscreen wiper switch, and also I've just made up a couple of tails just for the uh, high beam headlights. So I keep you busy for five minutes. Right, we've got it in, and I've done a continuity test. I've also uh, tested the block. Um, out on the bulkhead and uh, we have power there with this switched on so now I've got to try and get up in amongst all this lot here and fit it back in <laughs> wish me luck right what we have so far is this it's called a can of worms <laughs> right what I've done I've put the um, wiper switch back in. I've tested it before I put it in, it's fine. And I've put it back in and I tested it here. Now, I've had to take the ignition back out because I don't know why, what have we done with it? I don't know, see something. Uh, I don't know why, but when I turn the ignition on, I have absolutely nothing. So I've taken the ignition switch off and had a look at that. Um, and whilst that was off, I've noticed that the um, this one is just a little bit on the loose side, which I don't like. So I'm just going to tighten that up. Um, yes, I know my uh, speedo cable is kaput, but I really don't know what's going on. That um, connector on there is nice and tight. Uh, so I'm a bit lost at the moment so I'm just hunting around and wiggling and doing what you got to do like you know so right here we go sorted right well after much mucking around and uh, up under the bonnet we have uh, like a fusible link and fuse is blown 25 amp fuse ah, right so that's what it is okay just got to work out the cause of that now whether the um, uh, wiper switch is uh, completely naff or what I don't know um, by putting it back on I did have power there that I do know uh, maybe I've just touched something up underneath here when I was up there I don't know my fault oh well a new fuzz so with George right guys next day uh, oh, obviously we're home in the garage um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this dash apart because one thing I've not liked since I've got it is the fact that this uh, alternator is on the skew. Um, sorry, there's a light in the way, never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't like the way that that's on the skew. So it just gives me a chance to uh, clean this up, etc. See what's going on. Yes, I broke the blasted thing when it came out, but never mind, eh? we've got the other bit in. I'll stick that back on, it's not a worry. Um, yeah, so it gives me a chance to tidy this up and have a look. Right, sort with George. Right, covers off, and I've just taken out the bulbs, and we've got three that are balloon. Uh, I think that's the dash light. Now, when I pulled the plug off, which, much to my annoyance, but never mind, I have a pin that's broke off, and again, that stayed in with the plug. So I'm wondering if that's to the dash. It was a dark green wire. I don't know. I will have a look in the book later. But let's crack on. Right, I'm just taking off the uh, electronics board of the back of the dash. Uh, just wanted to show you, uh, like this one here and this one over here haven't got a washer. But the other three have. So if you do do this, you've got to go careful. 
and make sure that you get everything back how it was. So it's always worth taking photographs or videos like this, um, just so that you know you've got a reference to go back to uh, when you put it all back together. So also, as you probably noticed, uh, I've got two broken pins on this. Um, just as well. Here you go. Take the other one off. Um, Right, what I'm probably do is pass that up from underneath because there's a nice little there's a nice little ridge on that still. So let me let me clear that out and see if I can pass them up from underneath. I'll come back with you in a second. Right, well I've just fed them up from the other side. So Unfortunately, it's going to make it a little bit on the short side, but at least they will be lined up and they'll still make a connection. So it's better than nothing, I suppose. I don't know whether or not you can actually get these little terminals anymore. I don't know. Right, while well, you got the electronic board off, you just as well do a continuity test with everything. That one there is coming back to there, but also carries on down to there, there. Uh, yeah, it's just worth, it's always worth doing a continuity test on this. That one's loose as well, never mind. I've just checked out everything, so it's all working good, that's good. But yeah, it's worth doing a continuity test because in the past, uh, a friend of mine and I had a um, 66 Coronet. And what we had behind all this blue paint uh, were um, hairline cracks and we weren't getting continuity. So, and what we ended up doing was rubbing the paint off um, and you could see the hairline cracks. So what we done, we just put a dab of solder across, uh, work to treat. Because uh, these are about, on the bay, they're about, uh, well I know for the B bodies, they're about 112, 120 quid. And I'm going back about seven, eight years. So I don't know what the heck they would be now. Um, so, yeah. It's just a little trick for you. Right, well, so far so good. Only this one, which was uh, wasn't broken, but it was loose, uh, really didn't want to play. So what I've done is I've actually taken it out and given it a good clean, because um, that's basically the best thing that I can do. Take it out, give it a good clean, and try and resolder this one here. The one on the left was just loose, but that's now fine. And these two, I know they're a little bit lower, but well. And I've given them a good push uh, with that. So I've given them a good push down and they don't come out. And the amount of force that I've put on there uh, will be in, was a little bit more than what the force needed to push the plug on. Uh, and they're still on there, so that's good. So, right. Yeah. Next one. Right, that's that done. That's all of them uh, nice and tight and soldered in. Don't worry, I'm going to give that a bit of a clean up, get rid of all this rubbish, as you do. Um, but now that's done. Time for the important bit. Lovely. Just cleaning up all the... Uh, contact points for the bulbs and everything else so um, I've just got one to go which is that one you can see the difference so um, where it gets oxidized over the years bit of sandpaper scratch it up lovely right now that's all cleaned up I've just uh, been stripping out the dash just giving it a quick clean as you do get all the dirt and dust and crap out of it i've got to wash the front of this off because that's filthy uh and then um 
yeah, set about to repair in that. It is what it is. Shall we, George? Right. Let's crack on, shall we? Right, let's give that a quick wash off on the face there. Uh, unfortunately, well, you can take these off, but these are sort of melted on. They're like a rubber type um, plug, and then they get melted on, so so that they don't come away. Um, you can, and then you've got to sort of super glue it back down again, and uh, well, it's not a trailer queen. Let's put it that way. So that's that's clean enough. So um, right, I uh, I'm going to call it a night and go and have something to eat, and uh, back with you soon.